Syracuse up big time, 60 to 45, seven and a half to play in the second half. Jesse Cook with you high above the court here at the Peterson Event Center with Jordan Leonard. And Jordan, head coach Jeff Capel for Pitt said after the loss to Duke a week ago, sometimes you have a game like this, you have to learn from it and get better. You don't hit your shots. Today we were the bug and we got splattered all over the windshield. Well, in that game, Pitt shot just 19 of 58 from the floor. Not too much better. That's a 33% line. Well, it's hovering right around 34 today as Pitt has gone just 18 of 52 from the floor. Yeah, and 5 of 20 from beyond the arc. That's 25%. Meanwhile, Syracuse shooting 64%. And the Panthers have faced a tough ACC schedule so far. Games against Clemson, North Carolina, Duke, all losses. But Syracuse just outplaying Pitt yet again, even after the Panthers had a week off and haven't played since last Tuesday. Pitt inbounding the ball from underneath the Syracuse basket at the right side. Carlton Carrington on the inbound. The freshman has been silent, 0 of 9 from the floor. Six of those tries from three-point land. He has not hit anything. Also on the court, the Diaz Graham twins for Pitt, Blake Kinson and Jalen Lowe. Quittier Copeland, Malik Brown, Benny Williams, J.J. Starling, and Judah Mintz, the five for Syracuse. The Orange starting on defense. 17 second shot clock for Pitt in their gold jersey. Syracuse all in orange. Blake Hinson takes off the inbound. Corner three, no good. Rebound punches around between Syracuse and Pitt. Walks out of bounds, and that is back to Pitt possession. Hit Benny Williams at the last moment. He put both hands around his head to protest the call to the referee, but they're an unwilling audience. Pitt feeds it to the top. Jalen Lowe takes it on the Pitt logo. 15 seconds on the shot clock. In the far side corner, pass underneath for Carrington, slows down into the paint, bounce pass near side three, way off the mark from Jorge Diaz. Graham, Syracuse takes it back left to right. That hit the side of the backboard. At half court, Judah Mintz hounded by two pit defenders and he calls a quick timeout. Seven minutes, six seconds to go in the second half. The Orange still up by 15 after a failed pit possession. Yeah, I mean, you say failed pit possession. If you're Jorge Diaz, right, you can't miss a three-pointer any worse than that off the side of the backboard. And he's really not the guy that should be taking the shot, just 30% from three-point range. Not a great look for Pitt, but Syracuse doing a nice job on the defensive end using the trapping method from the zone and implementing it into their man-to-man when they're in scramble situations. Jorge Diaz Graham just one of nine from beyond the arc in his last five games. So maybe he's trying to get back into a rhythm. Maybe he's just flooding an already drenched basement. For a, for a guy who hasn't checked into the second half, I mean, who knows? Syracuse inbound from the far sideline. Copeland underneath. Jumps through the contact, lost the ball, no foul. Pitt moves back right to left. Lowe drives into the paint. His flying layup is in. He crushed it through a pair of Syracuse defenders, but it's still a 13-point Syracuse lead. Six minutes, 45 seconds to go in the second half. That's one of the problems Quadir Copeland's had his experience. He's been a little turnover prone, six against UNC, another one right on that last possession. Mintz halts his dribble at the left elbow, throws it over to Benny Williams, but way behind him, right into the arms of Blake Hinson. Pitt moves back right to left. Lowe at the right wing, flies into the paint, lays it up off the glass. He scores, and a foul called on J.J. Starling. So Pitt has a chance to close the gap to just 10. Lowe jumped up. Starling looks like at the end of his motion, accidentally got his hand into his back. That's a push, whatever the intent was. So Pitt down by 11 with six and a half to go. Can close it back to 10. Yeah, Jalen Lowe up to 16 points. Didn't start the year. Was actually the highest rated recruit Pitt brought in last season over Carlton Carrington, who's been the freshman really of note for the Panthers the entire season. The four-star recruit makes a free throw. Pitt now in a full court press. Syracuse has it with Mintz. He throws over to Quadir Copeland on the near side. Ten-point lead for the Orange. The Oakland Zoo providing a cacophony of distractions for Syracuse. Mintz feeds Benny Williams, left wing, triple, no good off the front iron, way too short. Rebound the orange, get it back. Judah Mintz calls for the ball and tells everyone to slow down, puts both palms out and takes the ball next to his hip. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Mintz at the right wing, dribbles between his legs, goes into the paint, 
Bounces it back for Williams. Five seconds on the shot clock. Rolls over to the right elbow. And a foul called before he can make a decision. That against Pitt looks like Guillermo Diaz. Graham is the guilty party. It's his that, fourth. That, yeah, that's right. That's four on the seven-footer. In a game where Syracuse was worried about size, that's a big guy to draw into foul trouble. Better decision there by Benny Williams. Got the ball in the same position, but drove to the rim this time, causing the foul. Syracuse with it at the left wing. Judah Mintz marked by low. Turns over with a right-hand dribble into the paint. Lays up the jumper. No got off the back iron. He gets his own rebound. Jumps back outside to Williams. J.J. Sarling calls for the ball and backtracks near half court again. Syracuse wasting time. Two missed shots, but, uh, but in a very long, nearly a minute-long possession. 5.15 to go in the second half. Five on the shot clock. Sarling, left elbow jumper. He got it. J.J. Sarling. 13 points, he's six of nine from the floor. Starling has the mindset of the Georgetown game right now. He's up to 13 points, being aggressive, rising up for that shot and nailing it. Jalen Low, long two pointer, no good rebound Syracuse. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go in the second half, a 12 point lead for the Orange, who have suddenly slowed the beat on their pacemaker to try and make Pitt sweat. Judamins hangs on to the ball on the pit logo near half court straight away. Jabs inside, steps back out, and feeds Quadir Copeland on the near side baseline. Spins into the paint, a fadeaway jumper, rims out, rebound pit. The Panthers charge back right to left. Carrington flies through the paint and drops the ball through a forest of Syracuse hands. Three players jumped around him, and somehow Pitt walks out of that with just a jump ball. Four minutes, 21 seconds to go in the second half. 62 to 50 Syracuse leads. The jump ball puts it back in the hands of the Panthers, desperately in need of a basket. Federico, Federico checks in for Guillermo Diaz Graham. Pitt feeds to the top of the key. Jalen Lowe, the game's leading scorer, charges inside. Lost the ball, but picked up his dribble again. Carrington helps him out at the top of the key. Low straight away, guarded by Mintz, drives left hand, throws it over. Federico, rather, Austin, corner three. No good rebound, Syracuse. Brown popped it to Mintz, and the Orange slowly again move back left to right. Great box out there by Malik Brown to shed off. Federico, Federico, allow Judah Mintz to sky for that board down low. Under four minutes to go in the second half. A 12-point lead for the visiting Orange. Bounce pass inside, intended for Brown, runs away. Pitt moves back left to right. Low the layup through the contact, he scored. An irresponsible foul from Mintz there. He expected the pass, but ran right into the shooter. He got it. That's an and one opportunity. Pitt closes the gap to 10 and can chug back to single digits. 3.43 remains in the second half. Both teams pause for an official timeout, likely one of the last breaks in this game before the finish line. So with that, we're going to take it to a break of our own. Keep listening. It's Syracuse men's basketball on the original home of the Orange, WAER. 